we're working on getting the mast into the mast socket and that's this here uh, it's a piece of uh, schedule 40 pipe black pipe and the mast uh, has a extra coating than uh, normal masts I've run into but uh, this is the mast we're working with so basically we're sanding off the extra coating on here which isn't a um, structural thing at all it's just decoration so what we've made is this little device here and we put a piece of all thread rod in a uh, inch and a half inch and a half block and then we screwed some quarter inch plywood here to it and that slips over the end here and we clamp it and then we made these yokes with a little plastic in here and we spin the mast and sand it it's a good <laughs> we've built the yoke that fits from the boom to the mast and it's just made out of a uh, cutting board and basically you drill a there's a two and an eighth inch hole saw and you cut a yoke around that hole and <clears throat> trick is you want to taper this a little bit so it doesn't come off the mast we put in aluminum mast stiffeners and basically this is a 30 inch schedule 80 aluminum pipe and it slips right into the bottom of the mast like so and uh, it's roughly 30 inches long different masts taper differently so maybe some will be 28 inches long what you'll want to do though is taper taper this here in and um, highly taper this so that the mast doesn't have a hard edge when it flexes because that could snap your mast. I've tried wood stiffeners and sheared them right in half along with the mast. We're making the mast socket right now and I've beveled the inside edge so it doesn't uh, have a hard edge on the mast. And it consists of three parts. We've got this little tab that gets welded right here and this angle here is 11 degrees same as the rake of the mast and this little plate gets welded right there and I beveled that to have a place for the weld to go to Dave is marking out his uh, block train on the boom and this short guy is the uh, for the tack of the sail to hook to on the boom and basically we're drilling half inch holes in there to hook the shaft I see. This is the boom completely assembled. We've got the boom jaws here in the front and they're screwed on with a screw that drives it through there and this is the tack. Then you have to find a shackle that fits through the tack. This one I took and ground it square so it fits through the half inch holes. And then back here I've got the boom train and I've got it attached with uh, hose clamps and that way you can kind of adjust it on the boom to match up with your boom train on the fuselage. This is the mast socket inside the fuselage and this little tab keeps it from going down any lower. <laughs> uh, doesn't get much better than this. <laughs>